This is the Truth Network. Welcome to Running With Horses, a podcast devoted to inspire you concerning a relationship with Almighty God that empowers you to accomplish things you never thought possible. Shirley Weaver wants to take you there. And now, here's today's episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome. So very glad that you are here. The children that are part of a home, your home, including adult children no longer officially living in your home, but they are the posterity, the posterity of the Lord as a result of having been under your roof, so to speak. Imagine what it would look like if we covered them and continued to cover them in prayer without ceasing. There is such a thing as covering prayer. To me, the visual of what that would look like, it looks like this. It's up and out. We continually bring them up from any low place where the things of this world have pressed them down and we bring them up and out. I think of deliverance in the Bible, particularly when God brought the Jewish people out of the bondage of Egypt. He brought them up and out but also to take them in too. So he brought them up out of Egypt to take them into a promised land. That's what I mean, the visual up and out. Ezekiel 22, 30, And I sought for a man among them who should build up the wall and stand in the breach before me for the land, that I should not destroy it, but I found none. God sought for a man to build up the wall and stand in the breach for the land, but God did not find such a person to prevent the destruction of the land. This is the way that we stand in the gap, make up the hedge, or the breach, same meaning, so that there can be provision to prevail in the land. Same principle as we pray for our children. Keeping in mind that the deliverance of your children is not up to you. God does the work, but think of it this way, It is because of you, your stand in the gap, making up the hedge, you build up the wall of of protection and provision around them so that you are standing in the place where if there is a breach, a breakdown, anything pressing against, your intercession, prayers, intervene like an interceptor jet, another visual. So we're going to pray that way. Your children, other children who have no one to pray for them. So this is our prayer. Father, we pray today for our children, for the children. We pray protection for them, Father, against the advance of the enemy of their souls. Psalm 18, those spirits that are too strong for them. And we ask you for your presence, your divine presence all around them, like a shield, 
In Isaiah 54, no weapon that forms against them will be successful. No weapon that comes against them can prevail because the presence of the Lord is the impenetrable hedge protecting them. And we ask, Father, also that you make a way and open a path for our children, our young children, our middle-aged children, our adult children, all of them, they are the posterity of the Lord, our posterity. We ask you, Father, to circumvent any agency of the enemy and bring the path and open the path of your choosing. Put the people on that path that are necessary and needed. We ask you for friends, new friends for our children along this pathway. And we call forth destiny in God from the heart of God. Ephesians 1, for the individual, for the family. And we ask for more strength for the tent for the dwelling, for the house where our children find solace, where they find escape and safety. Young children, adult children, and everything in between. We thank you, God, that there is a tent of your creation where each of us, Lord, realize and step into destiny your plan, we repent of the things that we've done, not done, wrong motives, and God, we ask your forgiveness. We turn fully, we turn from the direction where things are not right, where motives are not right, we turn away and we turn to you to be cleansed, healed, and delivered as we repent and you forgive. God, we thank you. We're so grateful. And in that authority, in the power of walking upright before you, we take authority over Satan's plans, John 10, 10, to kill, steal, and destroy, and we stop those plans. We stop those plans, and instead, we repair and we build up the Lord's plan, the dream in God's heart for my children, for our children, the children who have no one to pray for them. We build up that plan. We make the repairs necessary in the power of the Spirit. And we say that others will look and see what's happening and say, yes, this is the posterity of the Lord's choosing. We draw from that dream in the heart of Almighty God. We draw from that plan and we establish, firmly plant that, that plan. We plant it. We establish it. We hedge it about with our prayer in protection. We speak to the mountains that are in the way. Mountains of failure, of lack on any level, of regret. Those mountains, we say, move out of the way. 
move out of the way, off of the path. We thank you, God, for hearing this prayer. We thank you, God, for the change in our heart as we trust you. We thank you, God, for the mark and the markings you've placed upon the lives of our children, the marking on their head, the marking on their heart, the protective mark on their physical bodies. We thank you for your hand, your mighty, righteous right hand that is upon them and upon their lives and that you, Father, because of your eternal plan for each one, you have set them apart, set them apart, put them down into a special planted place for your purpose. We thank you, God, that this prayer, this prayer, Father, resonates throughout the heavenlies and that you hear and answer this prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode and you'd like to help support this podcast, please share it with others. Post about it on social media or leave a rating and review. Don't forget to check out the show notes or visit acleartrumpet.org where you can subscribe to Shirley's email list. Download the ministry app and purchase your very own copy of Shirley's 365-day devotional, Running With Horses. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.